Hello, today I will be proving the general formula of differentiation for any exponent of x. Now, as you guys know, in math, uh, we had our final lesson on differentiation today, and we never actually proved the general formula. Now, we did prove um, what it would be, or what dy over dx would be, when x was squared. So, x to the power of 2 when differentiated it would become 2x and we were given the form the general formula but we never actually proved it so I thought I would prove it today so here is your average um, here's your average gra your graphing software um, so this is your initial point um, as you can see there's a second point which I can drag across this curve you have a chord going on in between. Uh, I think it must be this one, and if this one right here. Um, then you also have um, some lines going off to show you uh, these distances on this graph, and also we can use this later. We know, see that this is a right angle. Um, yeah, it's a right angle triangle and we can use rise over run and stuff like that obviously we hopefully we still don't use uh, rise over run because that's quite an unformal term of putting it but we might do something like that so let us uh, assume that when we move b right to a we get the line tangent so like we did earlier, we'd, we'd look at this and say this point is going to be x, x squared, because we're doing it for x squared first. Um, and this point is going to be, uh, it would be x plus delta x. Uh, that's the x coordinate. And then the y coordinate is going to be x plus delta x squared. So we would find that the gradient of the chord would be equal to let's do this. It's going to be equal to x x plus delta x x plus delta x squared minus x squared. So that, because that is going to be basically this distance, because this point is x plus delta x squared, that's the y coordinate, and this coordinate is uh, x squared. Um, just put that in brackets so it can be treated in a separate term. And that is going to be divided by. Uh, delta x because that's the change you get over here. Now let us play around with this like we did last time. If you multiply out the brackets for this top one, you're going to get um, x squared plus 2 delta x plus delta x squared minus x squared. The x squareds cancel out. So you get 2 delta x plus delta x squared on the top. The, now as you know, it's got this delta x in the bottom. The, we can can't divide everything by delta x. So 2 divided by delta x is 2. Um, delta x squared divided by uh, delta x is delta x, and the delta x divided by delta x is 1. So we have our original equation 2 plus delta x, and that is the differentiation of x squared, which is what we did in class. Now, I would like to introduce the problem. What happens if it's not x squared? It's x to any power. Well then, let us work it out. So this is going to be obviously a uh, this part is going to be x, x to the n. So we can actually um, 
do that, x comma x to the power of n. Uh, this point would be x plus delta x, obviously, x plus delta x, and it's um, the other coordinate is going to be x plus delta x. to the power of n as expected. Um, obviously we do rise over run like usual. So the this distance is obviously going to be delta x once more as expected. But this distance is going to be hard to calculate. It's going to be this y coordinate minus this y coordinate. This y coordinate was um, going to be x plus delta x to the power of n. Let's do that. x plus delta x to the power of n. Then you can get min oh, sorry. minus x to the power of n. Now the tricky bit is cancelling this lot down. And you guys know the answer already, but how do we cancel this down? It requires a bit of Pascal's triangle, and we're going to do this out separately. 